Alright ladies and gentlemen, Baron here. So this has taken like two or three days to get up and running. Um, I've had a frame rate issue where like I play the games and they're like a hundred, you know, anywhere between like 70 to like 170, 200 frames per second when I'm watching and recording. But then the recording actually is lower than that. So I finally fixed the issue. It's taken a lot of stuff. I had to buy a new hard drive, all kinds of stuff. I can get into it a little bit later. But basically, we're back with the campaign. So I'm, what, what I'm thinking is, let me know what you think. I'm thinking of alternating like episode one of this one, episode number one of that one, episode one of that one, and then kind of rotating around or maybe between two of them until completion and putting out an episode a day. And then I'm going to start mixing in multiplayer now that I have this frame rate issue fixed because the frames are even worse on multiplayer. Like both me playing it and recording it than campaign. But anyway, that now that that's fixed, let's hop right in into this. In the deserts of Arabia, an insurgency war was raging years before I got to France. Tribes of Bedouins had united to fight a war that was very different from the one we fought in the trenches. Using small mobile units, they challenged the might of an empire, and they were rallied around the ideas of a single influential warrior. Ideas of freedom and change. All right, change we can believe in. Let's hop into this campaign and see what it is all about. Now this campaign is pretty sweet. Al-Hadar, Mesopotamia, spring 1918. The great war engulfs the globe. In the deserts of the Middle East, Arab tribes rebel against their historical oppressor, the Ottoman Empire. To counter the uprising, the Ottomans deploy their most advanced technologies. The Empire's devastating artillery, combat aircraft, and armored vehicles engage rebel forces wielding rifles from horseback. T.E. Lawrence, an unconventional British officer, works with a small force of highly mobile rebels. They cannot confront the Ottoman forces head on. Instead, they must fight another way. So let's see the opening cinematic. Look at this the beautiful Arabian desert. desert. A vast ocean of drifting sands and scorched, sun-baked rocks. Beneath these endless dunes, oil, the lifeblood of our new mechanical century. For more than 400 years, the Ottoman Empire has ruled these lands, controlling all that's to be found here. But the Ottomans do not rule unopposed. Small bands of Bedouin rebels have united to overthrow the empire. They strike without warning and then vanish into the desert. Fighting alongside them is a lone British officer whose exploits have earned him wide renown. The world has taken to calling this man Lawrence of Arabia. Nothing is written. In the desert, you rely on good planning. But you also hope for a dash of luck. And luck was with us when we learned of a recently derailed Ottoman train carrying a most interesting piece of cargo. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Holy crap, this is like... A small patrol had joined the Ottomans who survived the crash. Together, they guarded the wreckage and waited for reinforcements. Alright. Let's go ahead and scout all these people. Oh, we got a guy right here, and look at this. We've got no weapon. So, we're gonna have to go get one, aren't we? And I think a lone fighter has just one advantage can sneak up over a large guy. enemy force. A lone fighter can move unseen. Hell yeah, that's our plan. So I think we knife this guy, we get his rifle, make our way into this train area. Don't you look back this way? <laughs> Though powerful and efficient, firearms would often attract attention. You had to be prepared for the Ottomans to respond in kind. 
All right, we're gonna sneak through this little gorge here. Okay, so the problem I've been having was my recording FPS or my video frames are always like, I don't know, at least 70 to 80, even when like, you know, there's sandstorms and shit. But my problem was the recording FPS was not nearly as high. And I figured out the issue was basically because I had to get another hard drive. Let's see, how do we... Oh man, I was supposed to trigger this guy, not the other guy. Well, how do we sneak into this camp? Oh, there's an officer there. That's not, that's not good at all. We triggered the wrong guy. So there was a horse over there. So it makes me think like we could either sneak up and just steal the horse and start shooting everybody, or we could try to knife everybody in this game. Or we could try to bolt action rifle them and that would not There's work There's a world well. of difference between seeing something and having it in your own two hands. What does that mean? Lawrence? Lawrence, you're speaking in riddles, and I'm not entirely sure what you're on about. Look at that heavy Madsen machine gun, I think. Well, nothing to see here, guys. There's some nice smoke. Ooh, this guy's under this thing. I feel like I gotta go for it. Oh, now he's kind of further away. So we're gonna go see if there's any silenced weaponry in this tent. Now that guy is looking... No, he's he's moving on. So the good thing is we can also use the minimap to see if anyone's triggered by us. Hashtag triggered. Look at those little medical triangle things. All right, yes, thank you. There we go, we have what we need. And that's the silenced pistol. We'll pick up the stick grenades. Guys, I've been playing the shit out of this. I don't think I'm gonna need a repair tool, but for lack of any other options, it may serve as a decent melee weapon. All right, so at this point, let's, we could sneak around a bit. Man, that's sun in my face, huh? We got the observer, like, on top of the train. But yeah, so Lawrence of Arabia. I don't know a whole lot about him. I know there's an old movie about Lawrence of Arabia, and I kind of want to check it out. Yeah, look at this. I think the best bet would be to... Would be to walk along the train. We strive to do what we think is right and push through those who would stop us from achieving this, no matter the cost. So, Lawrence of Arabia is pretty much a guerrilla fighter. He's almost like the Green Berets, or rather he may, <laughs> he was well before the Green Berets. Green Berets are the US Special Forces unit that they go in and train indigenous forces. Yeah, what is that, dude? I wonder what that could be. Who, who, who's, who's sneaking up on me? Where's the F button? Go to sleep. Oh my god, we were like right in front of this dude. Alright, so we're gonna go under this train. Try to get the guy in the tra train real quick. Get him real quick. Ooh, there's a mortar in the middle. Oh shit. Hello. There's more action over there. Don't worry about this. There's nothing to see here. Nothing to see at all. Now this guy... I wonder if we can... Oh, hello. Now if we could lure him into this train car... But he's pretty much the overseer. If we could take him out... We also got to deal with that guy. I've shot these guys in the heads with silence pistols before, and it didn't really do anything. It takes like two shots. This is silencers and compressors generally take the velocity off of a bullet anyway, so you know science. We got that officer over there. Let's see how many are left. Got one, two, three, four, five, six-ish. 
Oh, there's a guy way over there. Does that mean... Was there a sniper way over there and I just missed it? This guy's like having a sip of Turkish coffee. We, we missed the sniper. Somehow. Alright, well, I think we're gonna try a little guns blazing now. You know, we've done the stealth kills. How many did that trigger? Nobody? I'm trying to trigger this guy right in front of me. No one's the wiser. No one really checks for bodies in this game. I heard something and maybe someone died, but... No, it's okay. Not a problem. So once they're... Once their alertness goes down, I, I can go ahead and hit them piecemeal. But now that the guy's off the top, I'm gonna go down this side of the train. There's one guy on this side of the train. And that's this officer dude. Yeah, everyone's kind of like stopped worrying about me. Let's see if we can. Oh shit. I went for the back of the neck, the spinal column right there. And it worked out. There we go. That was a nice little combination. I'm proud of that. Now this guy's on high alert. Not high alert, I guess. Like, what is going on? Oh man, I thought I was going to be able to sneak through there real quick. And blitzed. Alright, now we're just gonna finish off this guy real quick, because who knows what's gonna happen. What's going on? Ooh, there's a horse. We could have used a horse. Let's see. Let's see what's in this tent. Not that we really need it at this point. Ooh, a big old, big old machine gun. We will take that. And what's over here? Any... No, just grenades. Just two crates on this one. Yeah, so if I had not gone to that tent first, I wouldn't have had the silenced pistol, and then I probably would have had to go in guns blazing, using the grenades, anti-tank grenades, and this big old Lewis gun. But, oh god. Is that coming my way? Wait, is that triggered, or like, if I had waited, would that have come? Because I could have probably used that sandstorm. Oh shit, missed it. Oh, never mind, that works. But now we're gonna go get this. So I think we probably could have used the sandstorm as cover. So let's see what this, what's the secret, huh? I mean, we've killed everybody. We can basically walk away with this one. A nice book. Well, shit. Well, you did not think we would be fast enough to catch you here, did you? Lawrence of Arabia. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, man. Actually, I was rather depending on it. Eh, Lawrence? Ah. Well, this is very clever. Now the hunter becomes the hunted. So who might you be? How enchanting you are, my dear. Achmed. I'll show you enchanting. If it weren't for you, I'd be free. Free, is it? You'll be free when you're dead. And I'm happy to tell you, the Empire intends to grant you all this freedom very soon. Even now, an engine of destruction scours this desert, obliterating your allies, your families, your homes. Soon there will be nowhere to run! Nowhere to hide! Soon all that you know, and all that you love, will be 
ashes. Well, we shit. Strip the flesh from that man's feet and send him off into the desert naked to die. But think about it. You're right. I'm sorry. My friend here, she can be a little brusque. Brusque. You're going to tell me how to lie to your train so we can lure it into a trap and destroy it. <laughs> Impossible. To even begin to talk to that train, you would need an entire book of communication codes. Oh, like this one, you mean? Oh. You can never stop the progress of machines! One day, <laughs> the whole world will take your lands and the precious black gold beneath its sands. We shall see, my friend. Of course, obtaining the codebook was not enough. To destroy this Iron Dragon, this Canavar, as the Ottomans had named it, we had to send it three encrypted messages telling it to stand down. There were Ottoman outposts scattered along the railroad tracks. The commanders there carried high-priority message capsules. We had to use those to send our orders. Infiltrating the village wouldn't be easy. A full detachment of Ottoman soldiers had occupied it. The Ottomans had chosen an isolated location for their desert outpost. Man, that looks beautiful. It seemed lightly defended. It was also well stocked with arms and equipment. The ancient ruins were all that remained of a civilization now lost to time. The Ottoman Empire brought in the modern world with a host of armored vehicles and field guns. Three commanders to eliminate, three personal message capsules to be stolen, and then sent with our false orders. How Zara tackled this dangerous and audacious mission was up to her. All right, so it looks like we've got some, what would you call it, convoys on the way. Is that like a little artillery base over there? There's a horse, oh, there's a dude. Oh, wait a minute. What was that? Huh. That thing's moving pretty quickly. Is that like a motorcycle? I can't really tell. We've also got this village over here. And we've got to go to three of them. So we'd have to scout them out. It looks like a medical tent. There's definitely a dude right there. Hmm. And then there's the village over here. This part seems abandoned. Finding some men, some machine guns. Ooh, there's a nice scouting tower. All right, so in the next mission, we've got to do all this. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for part two. And we've got some other campaigns. So instead of, I think, kind of completing one, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna alternate. Will you shut the fuck up, horse? You're gonna give away our position! Shit! Oh, we've got the weapons from the last round, too. For now. Unless we save and restart, we might have different weapons. So, we might have to try this with something different next time. But I do like that the weapons you have stay with you. Recon any of the Ottomans. I wanna see what's over here before we close out this episode. Look at this train, though. So, eventually, I think we're gonna have to fight the, the giant train. I almost said the giant train monster horse so there's guys that can get on horses or cavalry medical tents there's another little tent over there let's get get a little closer these rocks are in the freaking way oh hello we've got another tent over there messenger pigeon some dude oh that guy wait a minute there's a dude on this tower we've got two snipers overlooking this town And we've got that random patrol coming in. This guy's apparently a driver. 
Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Guys, I think this just got more complicated. That looks like a tank tracks. There is a tank in the town. So we've got to be careful about that. Not too many soldiers, but if the dude gets in that tank, we are boned. Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned for the next episode. As I was just saying before, we're in ADHD, as we do over here. Um, I'm going to alternate episodes from the different campaigns, because we've got three other campaigns to finish and play. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.